Well, I hope you're staying warm out there because uh, temperatures, once again, just like yesterday, they're in those single digits for almost everyone. Thank you for tuning in to your Wednesday evening weathercast. At this moment, we are dealing with six degrees from Rogers City to Atlanta, eight in Alpena and Harrisville, nine in West Branch and Mayo. And if you want to find those teens, you got to head down towards Ascoda and Tawas. Now, the winds today, though, are a little bit different compared to what we had yesterday. Yesterday, we were seeing a little bit more out of the west. Today, we've actually begun to see more of a northerly flow coming throughout the Sunrise side. Five miles per hour in Ascoda out of the northwest at three in Alpena. Still hanging on to that westerly flow in Mayo at five miles per hour, but overall relatively lighter wind. So at least that wind chill hasn't been as bad as it was 24 hours ago. So when looking at that wind chill, what it feels like outside, it's actually right on either side of zero in our viewing area. Negative three in Rogers City, two degree positive in Alpena, one in Oscoda. But throughout most of the state, just hovering around zero, especially throughout lower Michigan, negative seven in Flint, zero in Grand Rapids. Most of the intense values of those wind chills are towards the UP, but even they are moderating and improving somewhat compared to where we were 24 hours ago. Negative 14 in Ironwood, negative 16 in Marquette. Now, when it comes to that lake effect snow, it's really beginning to back off as well because of that change of that wind direction. So we've actually seen a better shades of blue skies today compared to what we had yesterday. So really make sure to enjoy it out there, even though the sunshine really is not warming things up too much. But at least we are having some finally a beautiful day here throughout Northeast Michigan and really enjoy that winter scenery. That lake effect snow really just concentrated west of I-75 as you head your way towards Traverse City. And that's how pretty much it's going to stay at least through the next 24 hours. So for us here tomorrow, we're going to deal with partly sunny skies, but then we will see a re-increase of some snowfall by tomorrow night. And this is really going to be triggered by a low pressure attached with a cold front. And this cold front is really going to just re-usher in more of that Arctic air for the New Year's holiday. So when it comes to snowfall accumulations, though, it really is going to depend on those winds, that lake effect. That's really going to be the contributing factor. But we are at least going to keep those snow chances around 40 to 50 percent tomorrow night and throughout the day on Friday. And some of the snowfall could even linger throughout parts of the day on Saturday. But we'll finally say goodbye to some all the snowfall by the time we get towards Sunday. So at least for Sunday and Monday, it's looking to be drier, but temperatures on Sunday, we really are going to see the brunt of that Arctic air as we head towards midnight Sunday into Monday. So as we say hello to 2018, really make sure to be warmed up and bundled up as well. For tonight though, temperatures dropping towards negative five. This morning actually we dropped down to negative 13 coldest morning so far in 2017 and keep in mind like i said yesterday on air the next couple of days are still to be determined which will be the coldest day of the entire year so still a lot to be playing for in 2017 14 degrees for tomorrow so at least warming up just a little bit here by tomorrow night we'll at least be in the positive side as we introduce the chance of some snow and we'll keep those snow showers around 30 to 40 to even 50 percent especially inland all the way through Saturday, but then there's that cool down on Sunday down to eight degrees and then slowly warming up once again in 2018.